Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out a significant update for Windows subsystems for Android on Windows 11 to all Windows Insider channels, which started rolling out on the 20th of July. And this is more or less the same update that Microsoft rolled out to the preview program um, earlier this month and is now available for official testing uh, in the Insider program. And as many of you may know, um, WSA is not globally available. It's only available currently in about 30 regions. And at this stage, I am unfortunately still in one of the regions that doesn't have access to WSA yet. But nonetheless, because we like to um, keep you posted and informed on the channel, just to let you know about some of the uh, requested features that Microsoft has made available now with this latest upgrade and update to Windows subsystem for Android, because um, there are some features that users have been asking Microsoft to roll out, and those have finally been made available. Now, the version is 2306.40,000 and has been bumped up from 0.1 with this update to 0.4.0. And the first of four um, several requested features we are going to look at today um, is the camera compatibility improvements, which basically allows Android apps to access the camera hardware better. So that's the first um, significant change and requested change. Then the next is full screen mode with F11 now displays hover taskbar to improve mouse and touch experience. So obviously, that's an improvement for WSA on touchscreen devices. And then another significant change is this local networking under advanced settings experimental features. And the long and the short of this is it's now possible to connect Android apps to devices on the same network under those advanced settings experimental features that replaces the previous the previous advanced networking. And then the fourth um, requested feature just to mention for today's video is called partially running mode. Now, as I have mentioned previously, what this does is it could make WSA run faster on devices with limited resources. So as we can see here, it says partially running mode, now enabled by default for, de for devices with at least 16 gigabytes of memory. So for uh, devices that have limited resources, say 16 gigabytes of RAM or 8 gigabytes, um, this could be a bit, a bit of a performance increase with this new partially running mode. Now, those are some of the uh, requested features. And just to look at some other um, key improvements, here we get a fix for OneDrive folders not showing up in Android apps. And yes, support for drag and drop for more file types. And then we've got improvements to picture in picture so there's new user interface buttons when in pip and then we also get these st uh, stability fixes for arm devices and then the linux kernel has been updated which um, does take place with every uh, version upgrade and then as well we get the security uh, the security patches that have rolled out for android 13 which wsa is based on so that's more or less uh, what's new for this latest update as mentioned which microsoft now has shipped um, starting the 20th of July to all Windows Insider channels with the update 2306 40004.0. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.